everybody, welcome back to a very special episode of FTL. Um, we're not in a very good spot, I won't lie. Uh, things are not looking very good. I will... Actually, it's probably more worthwhile for me to have more shields, so... We'll do shields and a new weapons bay. Alright. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're looking immediately for a store, because a store would help me so much right now. I think I want to go down here and then kind of like look around. I'll use up all my scrap if I see him get ready to jump. Oh, well, actually, no, get ready to jump because all these ships unfortunately will have uh, uh, too many shields, and I will have to use my S bomb to get through. Like this one, see? I can't waste my resources at this point. It's not worthwhile. I need to save everything I have. I really would have wanted a cr crew teleporter makes the last part so much easier. Uh, but, you know, we can actually kind of... How oh, cool, they can't get through. I wonder how much... Uh... Oh, he's completely maxed out his evasion. And so is he. Unfortunately, he hasn't even done, like... Oh, he's done one thing with weapons. Nice. All right. A oh, store! Store, store, store! Fuck you, there is a store here, and there is nothing for me. Alright, well... I guess stealth weapons wouldn't be out of the question. Alright, let's do it then. Oh boy. I was hoping for a drone bay and a fucking... Uh, I gotta go here. Unfortunately, it's probably good to just jump here. So let's just go to the unvisited location. So I'll, we'll, we'll meet him there when he jumps. Let's grab some debris. Okay, we'll get 75. Is he jumping? No, he's not. Why is he not jumping? What an asshole. All right, I'll just wait. There you go, okay. So he's jumping to that area next. So with the scrap that we have, we'll put maybe another bar into engines. There you go. And another bar into here, just to make sure that the piloting doesn't go down in one hit. All right, well, um, this is gonna be a hard battle, not gonna lie. And I probably should have had my other S-bomb up. So let's go put it up now. So he's got a lot of crap here. I can't actually take down his missile thing. Um, Cause I want to teleport into it. It's cost me too much resources to get into there. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so my, my, base, my best hope actually at this point is just to S-bomb the shit out of his shield room. Let's use this thing. Uh, so now, now I can actually power up things. I forgot that I was going to put it down to one power. Alright, so uh, let's just not put auto fire on. There we go, okay. Um, this is going to hit a- okay, so I have a couple of vectors for attack. I can also like hit this, so like this will hit like one, two, this is like one, two, three, four rooms. If I do this, I can hit him. But it'll only attack three rooms, that's the problem. Because um, I really don't like that thing being up, to be honest. The other opportunity I have here is I can also hit this, which is like, it takes down his piloting. Uh, which means the bombs will be easier to hit subsequently. Uh, which is also not a terrible idea. Uh, additionally, I can use the S-bombs potentially to uh, to bring down his... Um, uh, to bring down this guy, but once again, I don't have enough S-bombs to waste on that, so... We're actually gonna do ma we're gonna maximize the damage. So that's our plan at this point. Can I just use this all defensively? Glade Beam unfortunately takes fucking an hour and a half to fucking charge. Okay, come on. Cloak, 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 cloak. Oh god. Oh god. Oh good. That thing was only set on fire. It's a miracle. Alright. So, once again, uh, his shield room is... And we just killed that guy. So we can actually kill people slowly in the shield room, that is an option. Uh, it would be kind of a nice option. I'm not gonna lie, because then I could just ion cannon him. To my heart's content. Okay, so that- there we go. So we only have to do one more hit. We're not gonna bother with the S-bombs anymore, we're gonna save those. 20, this is actually going pretty well. Um, in his later phases, he will be more... powerful. Uh, 
You know, let's just hit all these fuckers. Yeah. I don't know. It's probably not going to do anything, because I think they go back to full health anyways. Glavium takes, unfortunately, forever to charge. And I can't use that right now, but that's okay. As long as he doesn't bring his shields back up another bar, we should have that room. There we go. He he got me pretty hard there, but uh, we won, so it's okay. And we got some scrap and shit out of that. So let's go lick our wounds and all that kind of crap right now. So that that, that went, I would say, not too bad. Uh, but the later phases are the difficult point. Like, as I said, Drone Bay or Crew Teleporter would have made this fight so much easier. So we're actually playing in, in ultra hard mode right now. Believe it or not. And I, I, I know I just fucked up his, his repair, but that's okay. You gotta just make sure everything's at full full strength before we continue on. Alright, get in there. Get everybody on what they're good at. Uh, to be honest, I've never done it to this degree of difficulty. Um, but I have no choice but to chase him down, so... Uh, I can power up O2 a little more so that doesn't go down. Potentially. Let's do that. O2 is pretty important to me. We got nothing else to use these these power points on. And once again, I didn't have these charged. Okay. My fuck up. My bad. Oh, great. It's this guy. We'll have to repel him. This is the this is the biggest problem with this area because he's gonna he's he's he, he has a breach thing in there. I, I don't know why, but I'm getting amazingly lucky right now, because I've had a couple of really bad times with this boss, where he's just, he's evaded all my bombs. But this is why you have two of them, I suppose. Uh, he might teleport on here, but we'll just do, deal with, with it like this. So, that guy's distracted by being an idiot over here. Alright, he's gonna fire the missiles. Oh god, it didn't last long enough. God, don't die, don't die. Oh, thank god. Oh god, everything is getting kit. It's terrible. How much? Uh, 1 HP again. I'm the master of clutch victories. Uh, I'm surprised that went down both times. To be honest. Alright, let's get both of these out. There we go. We killed another person. That thing is down. I'm not totally against doing something like this, which is absolutely nuts. I also want to take down this drone bay, actually, so let's do that. That's a bigger threat right now. Okay, that, that thing is unfortunately probably going to hit me. I know my... I know my... I know my shields are down right now. I'm oh, sorry, my... I, I, I just... I can't have anyone in the engine room right now. Okay, that's... That's just... That's it. We're gonna just have to fucking do as much damage as we possibly can again. Alright, let me plug, 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 plug. There we go. There we go. Let's just start repairing stuff. His shields won't come back up in time, and not to a degree that would be useful to him. Alright, we got that one. And we got some scrap out of that. Alright. Now for this final phase, um, believe it or not, we're gonna actually put in the heavy ion, because, you know, I, that fucking, there's that stupid ass shield thing that they have, and uh, I, I can't do it with, I can't do it with this. I, I would have preferred to have them both charged, but there's no way I'm spending another 90 scrap for that, so, um, can't do that. No dice. So, um, our strategy at this point is... Just to kick ass and chew bubblegum. Or something along those lines. This is actually going probably a much better than I expected. To be honest, there's a, you know, there's a slight chance, slight chance of me winning, you know? Because those bombs are all hitting. Uh, the last phase, though, I, I know for a fact that the bombs, like, really don't like to hit, though. Um, I will not lie to you. Uh, you don't, you not, you know, you guys know me as not the lying type. Uh, also, I should probably power oxygen at some point in life. Uh, yeah, let's let's double power oxygen because that's why we have it. Oh god. Look at our oxygen go All right, Beth get back on there. 
I said if I had the if I had the crew teleporter, I would be able to beam someone into that room basically with like the weapons, and I'd just take it out. Like, because why not? Um, I wouldn't really bother with anything else. It's just you know, two two people in that room is enough to take it out. So that's why you get like a teleporter for that this that phase. And drone would help you, you know, shoot down some missiles and stuff. Because I'm taking a fair bit of damage, so there's a very high probability that this will not go very well, and I will die and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know what? This is a fun game, so let's go. There's another repair thing here. Wish I could have made it there, but he's only got two jumps to go. This is it. This is where we hold him. Alright, so uh, what we do to start this shit off is we... We hit him as much as we possibly can. So we're just gonna keep firing that ion bomb there. Okay, here we go. Fortunately, this guy is not very good at... Uh, actually, I'm, I want to just vent the atmosphere. Oh boy. Okay, I can't use my... I can't use my... my, uh, my cloak for this, because I have to wait for the other, th the other thing. So, all we can do is pray that he's not going to take out my... My stuff. Get out of the room. What? You beamed another person in? Oh, guess what? That can I can vent air, air there too. Yeah, here we go. You know what? Let's get two bars into that and full power to that. All right. I think this should be much better because now we'll have enough to last through all of that. And we can actually now charge up the small bomb, I think. There you go, see? Uh, okay. Okay, let's get both these guys to repair this. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, so FTL jump is ready. Yeah, see, this is, the problem with this one is it's I have to now use the small bomb. So I use the ion bomb to essentially bring down his... Uh, Stop touching my cloak. I use a small bomb to to bring down his, his weapon slightly. That's why the ion bomb is just so much better in every way. Alright, now we unfortunately will not have anything for that. This is on fire, unfortunately, but we're actually still okay. Oh boy. Let's just uh, repair this while that everything else is on fire on my ship. Oh boy, okay, so this is what we cloak for. But I'm getting rid of the fire. Oh boy. He was almost done repairing that as well. And that went down, luckily. Okay. Uh, Glee Beam will fire. What? Did I have it on auto-fire this whole time? I may have not noticed that. Okay, well, I unfortunately cannot do anything about the doors right now, so these guys have to go in here and help repair that. There you go. Now I'm actually hitting him. Okay, we have his we have his uh, shields down. That's that's a good thing. Uh, so I'm gonna actually start targeting that because if anything's gonna kill me, it's gonna be that. Oh boy. I don't have enough fucking cloak. Fuck! I was so close. So fucking close. God damn it. Oh, well, that was a good enough match I showed you. I was right at the last phase, too. It's just not enough haul. Oh, man. You know what? It, I, I think the one thing that made a difference is I think I had that on that beam thing on auto fire and I didn't realize it And so I could have had that open right away So, you know that missile thing really tears you a new asshole, but I as I said if I had the crew teleporter I probably would have won But yeah That's a shame. That's a damn shame for type B uh, USS lucky is not so lucky. Look at this. I had a higher score in this, this this one. I still didn't win. But yeah, that's that's a that's a decent round. See, I almost fucking won. It was just so close, so freaking close. Just the cloak never comes up when you quite want it to. Oh well. 
Sigh. Well, you know, as I said, it's a fun ship, and I had a lot of fun with it, and it was like, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a really challenging ship, even if you know absolutely what you're doing, still extremely challenging, so, you know, what are you going to do? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, another little episode of FDL, I don't think I got anything else for you for FDL, so, you know, I think that's it for me, so... A very challenging ship and, and very enjoyable if you do it. It's one of my favorite ships in the game. If I ever start with FTL, I'm always like, I want to do Stealth Cruiser B. Because it's always the one where it's the, the hardest on your, uh, you know, luck luck and skill really come into it. And knowing what the fuck you're doing. So, yeah. So, I guess we'll be seeing you uh, for whatever I do next time. So, see you later then, guys. Bye.